I'm glad you have been able to join us for this weekly devotional. I've been looking at Romans, the 12th chapter. And in verse 3, it, it, it's talking about the body, the church, those who are a portion of the Lord's body. He said, for by the grace, this is starting in verse 3, for by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function. And so often we began to think highly of ourselves in my ability or in what I can do. We often fail to realize that each person has a part and they are important in God's eyes. And we may not see the importance of that person and yet they may be one who encourages or who simply acknowledges each person they meet with gratitude or with a joy. There are so many different things that can involve in, uh, or involve who we are within the body. We often think that that person does not do much and, and yet that person is giving themselves in some manner. But as we approach these verses who, that tell us how we should be or how we should act, how we should present ourselves, who we should be, these are some exactnesses that were there for each of us. He said in verse 9, let your love be genuine, abhor what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another in brotherly affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, and be constant in prayer. Contribute to the need of the saints and seek to show hospitality. He, he, the, all of these things that we are to do. And, but as we look back, we may do them in different manners. We may do them in, uh, let's say, different amounts. We may, we may not have certain capacities. But we're to have these things within us that let us seek to do good for the saints. It, and that doesn't keep us from doing good for those of the world. We present ourselves in, in certain manners, but I want us to listen to what he says as he begins chapter chapter 12. Something that is so important to us. And, and the King James is worded a little different. And, and I don't I don't like the wording because it it gives us uh, uh, it seems a limited way to do to accomplish these things. He says, I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God. And thinking about what God has given each one of us as, as, as he gave his son on the cross for the forgiveness of sin. He said, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. The King James says, which is the least of your spiritual worship. It seems like he can set a limit on it. Well, there is no limit. He says, give all. Give your bodies as a living sacrifice, as I live my life, as I seek to do the will of God, I am to be one willing to give myself completely. He said, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. We need to look each day at ourselves. Am I giving my all to God? Am I willing to do what God asked me to do and treat others as they should be treated live my life as I should live it as a sacrifice to God. I want you to continue. I want you to think about these things as you go through this week that you might be able to live your life for him as he seeks of us. I hope you'll think about that this week as, we, as you go through your life that you might do the things that are that God seeks of you and that you might live for him each day. I want to thank you for being here today and may God bless.